Thank you, Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Tonight, I want to discuss with you the importance of donating blood. How many of you have donated blood before? Good. How many have donated blood at least twice a year? Good. I would like to share with you the importance of donating blood to our country, to our family, and to yourselves. And I would share with you my experience of donating blood at our local facility, the American Red Cross building, located on the Hope Road. Let's briefly discuss some of the history of the American Red Cross. I have read stories and I have heard stories on TV and radio about how the American Red Cross has affected this country and other countries. And we hear very frequently about what the Red Cross does overseas. And we often hear people say and read about the Red Cross came to the rescue or the Red Cross was assisting. And in fact, they do that in domestic ways and also international ways. Now, the Red Cross has helped communities like in countries like Katrina, Haiti, and also Pakistan there in there right now. And it seems like when things just get started in these disaster areas, the Red Cross is there. All they do is give a call and the Red Cross sends units. And it has a big volunteer organization and big volunteer group. So actually, all of us can volunteer to be volunteers for the Red Cross. If you have this feeling of excitement you can volunteer to be in a Red Cross, and you can go to these areas and assist. Wouldn't that be an experience? Well, a Red Cross needs blood. And in fact, the Red Cross needs so much blood that they are looking for 38,000 donations a day. Now, why is this necessary? Because they need to replenish the blood that is in their storage. And all of us can help the Red Cross by giving blood. If there is an accident, a car accident, at times a hundred pints of blood are needed sometimes to help the person just in a single car accident. And we also know that in terms of people giving blood, only about 38% are eligible to give blood. And I know some of you can give blood for various reasons. But others like ourselves can give blood more than once. It is important to give blood. Now blood is connected or collected from many sources. And as I mentioned before, the American Red Cross building on Good Hope Road here in Baltimore is one of the places. Have any of you been there to give blood? Okay, not there. But there are many other centers. And actually, there are some government agencies, some private businesses, and some churches who have blood drives. Now, they don't necessarily have blood drives themselves, but the American Red Cross have notified them, hey, we have an emergency for giving blood. And can your government facility or your church or your school help in this area? Now, how many of you have given blood through your government agency or your churches? Okay, I know some of you have. And when you have done it, you've done it gracefully. And sometimes they even give you an award for that. They might give you a steak dinner, they might give you a half day off, and that might even be uh, an incentive to give blood. I know it was me when they said, we're gonna give you a half day off. I said, I'll volunteer, four hours. So blood is collected from all sources. Um, and I'm glad to hear that some of you have given from your job and your churches. 
Because in our church, sometimes they do have a blood drive. But it is initiated by the Red Cross. Now I'd like to give you, a, say a few words about my experience in giving blood. I give blood at least four times a year. That might beat some of you since you didn't raise your hands. And in fact, four or five times a year because I am on the Red Cross hit list. Meaning after I give blood, two months later, Mr. Wagner, <laughs> you, we thank you for giving blood two months ago. Now we are in need of O positive blood. Can you give again? Well, I say to myself, I am on their hit list. Because every time I give blood, two more, two weeks, two months later, they call me to give blood again. But I say to myself, you know, this is good. This is helping people. This is helping these disaster areas when I give blood. So let me tell you a few bits about my experience of giving blood at the American Red Cross. First, your name is on a list. And when you go there, you sign in. And it's not very crowded because they know that you are on their list and they don't have a lot of people there. They just have you, almost every 20 minutes, you are there to, uh, to give your blood. And a routine goes, you have to read some literature about responsibilities of giving blood and also why you cannot give blood. And I've given blood all these times and I have to read the same literature. It says, you have to read this literature so you know what you're doing. So after that, you go into a cubicle and they ask you questions about your history, health history, and if you've been out of the country or not. And then they take your blood pressure, they take your pulse, they stick a little needle in it to see if they have any, any chemoglobin or something like that. And it's, it's okay. And to me, that's almost one of the worst things to do is just stick your needle a little sharp thing. The little blood comes out and they take That's it. But after that, and after it's all over, they give you a lot of goodies. And here are some of the goodies that they give you. Woo! Water, soda, all this good stuff. And they have shirts. All these great things. And I probably have a half dozen because I've given so often. Giving blood is important. Giving blood is important to you, and also it affects a lot of people. And I would suggest that you give blood regularly, or if not regularly like myself, when you can, because it helps everyone. Madam Postmaster.